hello everybody welcome back to my channel i am coming in today finally with my february makes so i have uh two pieces and one is let me just show you is the mccall's 3830 it is UD. Um, if you recall, early in February, I talked about how I was taking an in-person class to refine and tighten up my skills in garment making. Now, I sew already for my business, and I actually um, was sewing uh, since I was much younger, but I'll talk about that um, in the seamstress tag video. But at any rate, um, but my techniques and everything for garment making was just... <laughs> all the way off so this is the skirt we did in class view d and so um made that and i also made uh should have had it ready um view d and e and this is simplicity one 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 i was in a um, workout gear challenge so i made this top in these pants or um they're not pants uh but and so yeah, so we are going to jump right in. I just got home and figured I better hurry up and do this uh, before the day gets away from me. So just stay tuned. And if there's enough time, um, not to make the video too long, I'll do my review and the um, adjustments and what not for this. If not, that'll be in a separate video if, I, if it looks like the video is getting too long. So all right, everybody, stay tuned for... Um, uh, the first, the first piece. Okay, I am back. So, oops, I didn't take off my necklace, but <laughs> anyway, that's fine. So, disregard the necklace. Obviously, I won't be wearing jewelry. Um, at least I don't wear jewelry when I work out. So, the top. <clears throat> Here is the top. Hopefully, let me try to back up enough and stand up so you can see. This is the top. Hopefully you can see the back. I don't know how much of the back you can see, but I do have a sports bra underneath. And then these are the workout pants. And what I do like is that I got these seams lined up. If you can tell, <laughs> I got these seams lined up, which I'm happy about. Um, the pants you can't really see all the way let me see if i can stand up on this oh yeah there you go so yeah you can see how they look they flare out a little bit at the bottom because i was uh stretching the fabric too much so that is hopefully I keep bumping the camera. <laughs> Hopefully you saw that. The other thing, if you notice this side of the collar is laying flat and this side is, isn't. And so for me, it was a challenge getting that neck band to fit in, but I end up watching some videos after doing this and will actually lengthen the collar to fit in better with the neckline and so yes yeah, so i don't have this puckering and sticking up but i'm working out in it <laughs> i will exercise in it so this is the first one so let me try on the skirt and then i'll come back with the adjustments i made in a quick review okay so i am back here is the skirt let me try to back up because I won't be able to stand up <clears throat> so here is something hopefully you notice it looks a little big and that is because it is we started the class <clears throat> February 4th um, and our last class was canceled or re rescheduled to this past Saturday which would have been March 11th so between then and now I have lost weight <laughs> uh, and I'm excited about it but you will notice it doesn't is big it is a little definitely a little big and I don't have anything smaller to step up on 
Um, let me see if I can back up this way. It, yeah, you can see it's a little boxy and it's supposed to taper in a little bit down at the bottom. But again, because of the weight loss, um, I can opt to go ahead and take this in or make another one. And my, my first mind is to make another one. I probably can get away with wearing this once, maybe twice. Um, and then I'll just, I'll donate it. But um, yeah, so that's it. Those are my makes. And so let me pause real quick. Okay, so I might have a little time. This video might be maybe 10, 12 minutes. Ho hopefully you don't mind. Come back <laughs> if it's too long. So let me start with Simplicity, my review of 1111. I actually really like this. I will make it again. I think that is super cute. Um, and these other pieces are cute too. Like this is cute. I would make this. But for workout, I will definitely make this, this, and this. I'm not really into shorts that short. So i rather, you know, stick to something like that. Um, and so I did have to make several adjustments. So here's a little background and how I used to pick my patterns. Um, I used to pick my patterns based on my ready to wear size. So the size I will wear when I go into a, a store. And so we know there's a lot of vanity sizing in stores. So one brand or store, you might wear a 12, but in another brand or store, you might be, might be in a 16 or something. So there is a little vanity sizing there. However, the thing that I, <laughs> that I'm realizing or came back to memory through taking a class is that <clears throat> always have your adjustments, all, always have your measurements rather. And so if you look on the back of this pattern, it has the bust waist, what you need to know for your hip um, and back neck to waist, right? So if you already have these measurements, you know how much extra fabric you might need to use or you know what pieces you might need to expand upon. So here are the adjustments I made. <laughs> I made notes on here. So um, for the pants, what I had to do, and let me just show them to you here, what I had to do, and I actually didn't close the back because I wanted to know the back from the front and I guess I could put a tag in there and I'll show you guys all my mistakes. I definitely don't mind that because somebody might have a tip for me, which I will greatly appreciate. But here are the pants. <clears throat> and so one of the things that I did, I think I, I explained how the bottom of the knit pants flare out a little bit and it was because um, I was pulling too much on the knit. So if you can tell, can you tell there where I was pulling too much? I guess I didn't see this till later. Did I tried to go back. <clears throat> so I have to be more patient with my hems and with, um, you know, with knits that is and making sure that I'm, um, patient there. Um, the one adjustment for the pants was the crotch adjustment. So I have my crotch measurement and so I had to increase the crotch adjustment by maybe two and a half, three inches, maybe, um, because of my height. I am taller, three inch, three inch crotch adjustment. So here are how my adjustments would look. And I will actually make a separate video on the skirt, um, cause this is already nine minutes, but here is, I will use my paper I showed you that I got from U-Haul, that packing paper. I'll use that going forward because the craft paper was not, um, was not pliable enough. But so I split that crotch and added the three inches. And so that gave me my additional crotch space. Um, and then also had to adjust the waistband. So the waistband I also had to add on... Um, a little bit there. I'm not seeing that piece in front of me. Um, let's see here. Okay, we'll move on to the top. So the waistband, I had to expand it based on my waist measurements. And again, I would have expanded it. I might, it might be behind me or something here. I would have expanded it from 
you know, the areas where I can expand, should expand it from um, on that piece. So moving on to the top. Now the top, I also had to make adjustments in the bust. I am a, <laughs> a bustier uh, girl. So my bust area was larger than the largest size. So the largest bust area size on here is a 46. And um, I had to go up several inches for that to accommodate the bust area and i had to not only accommodate the bust area but i had to know my measurement from here to waist to know where let me just show you where this set so in the initial pattern this set right across my bust now obviously we don't want that gathering hitting right there so i had to lower that down in order for it to hit where it's supposed to hit so that is the adjustment I had to make there. And so, just so you know what that would look like, that's the front bodice piece. So here's that adjustment. And that was a three inch adjustment. So this um, takes in the account of the seam on a garment that will hit across my chest. So there you go, this is where I made that adjustment. And then I had to make a side adjustment as well because the measured across all the way across from seam to seam wasn't long enough so I would have had to extend that side seam as well <clears throat> excuse me and then also for the back now one thing I'll show you I will show you I will show you the um, the back I actually once I extended that front and the back, I would have had to extend the the back as well, but I didn't, and I didn't catch that till I was piecing everything together. And so, this is the only back bodice adjustment I made was for that side because I just showed you the front bodice. I had to make the adjustments to the side. So that is that. Let me see. Oh, here's my waist. Here is with the casing, I had to make a half inch adjustment on each side. See there? Making sure to mark my notches and know where to cut my notches at. But I had to make that waist larger, so comfortable. I've never done this in any pattern before in my life. And I've made clothes for myself before, but they were always ill-fitting and I never wore them or I might wear it and um, I won't say to this degree I've done adjustments. I've done adjustments on those three McCall 7121 I showed you before. But those were easier, but um, not to this degree. And so here is, oh, I already showed you the crotch adjustment. But I had to do that crotch adjustment for the front piece and the back piece. This is just the back piece crotch adjustment. And so... Let me just show you this, the top. So the top, I like the way the top fits. It fits very well. I was able to match up my seams. If you can tell, I matched up the seam there. I'm always happy, aren't we always happy when we match up the seams? <laughs> so this was a binding that was put on here. And like I said, next time I would make that neck binding piece longer to fit instead of stretching it to make it fit because then that's how all that gathering I don't know why patterns come like that where the you have to do all the stretching to make it fit where if you just extend this out you know and lay it in there properly then you'll be fine but the arms worked out well let me just show you that again matching up my seams I was so happy about this <laughs> At the end of the day was able to match up the seams on both sides <clears throat> yep look at that and so I made some mistakes in here quite a few actually see here that's where I was trying to gather that and I know this design kind of the way it runs you might not be able to see that but it's, it's gathered there and it shouldn't be so yeah, so I'm excited, um, and I'm excited about the new um, garments I'll be creating in the month of March because that's going to expand even more. Oh, let me show you before I cut this video off because it's already 15 minutes. Um, the back. 
Remember I said I adjusted the front and then didn't adjust the back and I didn't realize it till later. Well, you can't see where I added that extra piece really. If you look, if you look real close, let me see. It's right, right here, right here, all the way across. See, if I hold it up close, you can really see it. But from a distance, you can't tell where I had to add that extra room. So it fit. <laughs> So yeah, I am excited. That is the Simplicity 111. I will come back and do um, McCall's, the pencil skirt. And yeah, that'll be in a separate video because this one is long enough. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Welcome to all my new subscribers. And thank you for hanging in with me with this long video. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So I'm going to jump off and go ahead and switch gears so I can do the review. And the review will be up um right after this one so stay tuned for the the review for the mccall's the pencil skirt is coming will be live right behind this video all right everybody bye